Hi there, we're going to review um, some basic ways to measure in a chemistry lab. So first of all, we want to make sure we have the right vocabulary as we measure. So we want to remember that in this number here, here's my decimal point, this one I would say is in the hundreds place. Um, the two is in the tens place. The three is in the ones place. And you notice we're getting progressively smaller. That continues as we go to the right side of the decimal. So here the four we would say is in the tenths place. Notice tenths versus tens, and a tenth is the same as saying one over 10. Um, next up, the five is in the hundredths place, hundredths place, and that's one over 100, or five hundredths, for example. And then finally, I don't know that we'll really go this small, but this would be called the thousandths place, and that would be one over a thousand. So we'll be talking about these decimal places as we do some measurement. So when we measure um, using any kind of tool in lab, um, or if you get a measurement, it came from a tool somewhere. So we have three different steps we wanna take through when we measure. The first one is when you have your um, tool or instrument, make sure that you label all of the markings. So if I look at um, down below here, I have two different rulers, essentially both trying to measure this pink item. Um, on this ruler, everywhere there's a marking, this is what I mean by a marking, is these little lines written, every marking has a number, okay? But say you have a tool like this where only some of the lines or some of the markings have numbers. So I want to go through at this step of measurement um, before I'm worried about the pink object. Don't get distracted by that. Just go through and um, label these markings. So here I can say I need to count by ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And as I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, okay, so what I just labeled when I made sure everything was labeled um, was, so what I see is labeled or marked would be the ones place. Okay, so what's labeled or marked is the ones place. Up here on this tool or instrument, I could say that what is labeled or marked um, is only to the tens place, right? So I see the 10 here and that is in the tens place like we talked about here. So first get your labeling done and think about, okay, what do I see labeled? Second thing you wanna do is figure out what am I gonna estimate, okay? And so this is, you're going to look between the markings, okay? So you're gonna answer this question, what place or what digit, which is just another word for number, what place or digit will you estimate? And that's gonna be between the markings. So in other words, if I look back down here at these two tools, okay, if I'm looking here between 10 and 20, what I need to estimate is the ones place, right? So if I'm looking at the tens are marked, then what I will estimate is the ones place. Notice I'm not even worried about the object still, I'm just getting a sense of what the tool is I'm working with. Here, I can see that the ones are marked, so when I go to estimate, it'll be estimating is it between, or where is it between nine and 10? So I'm going to estimate the tenths place. Is it 9.1, is it 9.5, okay? Now notice here, if the tens are marked, you estimate the ones. If the ones are marked, you estimate the tenths. Come up here and look at our places that we talked about. If the tens are marked, we estimate one place over, which is the ones, okay? If the ones are marked, then we estimate one place over, which is the tenths. And essentially what that's giving us is a 10% estimate. You can never estimate more than one place over, but you should always estimate one place over when you're working on a measurement, okay? So as we're getting ready to measure, label all of your markings. What place or digit will you estimate? Now you're ready to read your markings, okay? So read your markings and then estimate between the markings. Um, and don't forget at the end of all of that, 
to put your units on, okay? Your tools will generally have the units marked on them somewhere. Um, when we talk about significant figures, um, the marking numbers that you read along with the estimate, so all of this, these are all called significant figures. And to put that in a different way, that sounds a little less weird, um, this would be meaningful numbers. That's basically what we're saying. Um, you'll see me when I'm grading or in other settings, sometimes the significant figures is abbreviated SF. So if you see SF, that means you have a mistake with your significant figures, okay? So let's take a look down here um, to practice these two and just get a sense of what this label looks like. What place or digit are we going to estimate? We already figured that out. So when I go to read, um, I'm going to get maybe a straight edge um, to figure out where this pink object falls. Okay, um, so as I look at this, I want to read first what's marked. So I know it's more than 10. And then I look and I say, oh, it's about halfway between 10 and 20. So I might say for my measurement that I think this is 15 centimeters. Okay, um, this one I'm confident in, this five I'm pretty confident in, but it is still an estimate. This I would say is two significant figures. All right, I've got two digits that I'm measuring there. Now, say your lab partner looks at this and says, mm, I think it's more like 16 centimeters, and then your next lab partner thinks 16 centimeters as well. All of those are correct, okay? What would not be correct is if somebody says, I think that that's 16.0 centimeters. You're just feeling like you need to add zeros on. And how can I figure that out? We'll go back to the work you did here initially. Tens are marked. I estimate the ones because I'm estimating between 10 and 20. You're not going to add any places beyond the ones. So don't add a tenths place. All right. Let's see what that looks like on a different tool. Okay. So now I see more markings. Okay. So I could say that more markings basically tells me that this is going to be more precise. So I'm going to see more decimal places when I'm finished with this measurement. Okay. Um, so I look at this and I say, okay, now if I can write a few more numbers in here, this would be 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. Um, and it looks like it's just past 15, 15 to 16. Okay. So maybe I look at that and I say, this looks like 15 point one centimeters okay maybe my lab partner looks at it and says I think it's a little further than that 15.2 centimeters these are both good because I've got to the ones and the tenths okay notice I have three digits now so I would say that each of these numbers has three significant figures okay um, now if you looked at this and you said I think that that's right at 15 do I add zeros onto the end of it? To write 15 wouldn't be a correct answer. I go back to my thinking about the tool, the instrument that I did before, ones and tenths. I need to make sure I have a tenths place. So if I think that that object is exactly at 15, then I need to say 15.0 centimeters um, to communicate that I have that level of precision and it's exactly at 15, okay? What would not be good answers here? Um, what would not be good answers would be if I um, went anything basically other than the ones and the tenths, okay? So if I said 15.10 centimeters, now I'm at the hundredths place. I can't estimate a hundred markings between 15 and 16, so that would be no good. Also, no good if you write 15 centimeters because now I picked up a more precise instrument, but you didn't give me a precise number to match that precise instrument. So those would not be a correct. The correct answer will always go to the tenths place on this instrument, and the correct answer will always go to the ones place on an instrument marked like that. So I hope that helps you um, think about the vocabulary that we use when we're measuring, the steps you're always going to take, and then the practice. And remember, the first thing you wanna do is figure out what is marked and what am I gonna estimate, then worry about your numbers, all right?